Kyra Yamamoto has been an effective player for the Edmonton Oilers ever since he was called up from the Bakersfield Condors in early January. What are the skills that Kyra Yamamoto brings to the Edmonton Oilers? Well, Kyra Yamamoto is an offensive player. He always has been an offensive player uh, growing up and through junior. He's a guy that has offensive skills. He has offensive instincts. He knows where to go to score goals and to set up goals. And I think that's the, the valuable trait that he has uh, coming up here is that he's an offensive player. And, and I think we've seen that once he's come up here. But some, you know, he's got some of those skills and those intangibles and those instincts that you can't necessarily teach. He knows where to go on the ice to create offensive opportunities. He's got very good hands. He's got very good hands in tight. He can, he can pass the puck extremely well. And I think he's just an overall very good offensive player. And, and that's, that's his main skill is that he's an offensive guy that's able to shoot the puck and able to create offensive opportunities. Now, he's been playing on the line with Leon Dreisaitl the whole time, and they've been... Uh, you know, just, as, I would say, almost as dynamic a, uh, a duo as Drysaddle is with Connor McDavid. What makes that partnership a special one? Well, I think it's the, the line itself. It's not just necessarily those two, but I think New Ryan Nugent Hopkins complements that line as well. And, and being able to put him on that line, I think all three players think the game very similar. They're very... Uh, offensive-minded players. They know where to go when the other guy has the puck or they know how to get the puck to the other player when he's in space. And I think that's the, the important part here with Yamamoto is that he thinks the game at that level. And, and, and like I said, we've said this before, that guys like Dreisaitl and McDavid and Nugent Hopkins uh, see the game a little quicker than most other players. And they, they can anticipate the game. They know where the puck's going to go. They know where they have to be. And, and they do it a split second quicker than some other players. And that's what makes them elite. And I think that's what Yamamoto fits in so well because he can see the game at the speed or he can process the game at the same speed that Dreisaitl and Nugent Hopkins are doing. But also, he's got the skill to make the plays that they need to be made in order to, to, to be successful. He can make those cross-seam passes. He can make those heads-up plays. He can, he can finish off plays as well. So that's what's making that line so effective. It's such, a, it's such an effective line because those guys think the same way and they share our same skill set. And I think that's the big thing with Yamamoto coming in here is that the Oilers needed a guy that can think the game at the same pace as Dreisaitl and Dujan Hawkins. Now, Kyra Yamamoto is a player who is you know, relatively small in stature, uh, but does that affect his game at all? Does he play differently, or do you not see a difference when he's out in the ice between him and a regular size player? Well, the game has changed. The game has changed now. Before, you had to be six foot one, six foot two, six foot three to be an effective forward. It'd be, it was tough to, to not be that size and to use that size and to be able to use your body. The game has changed. It's, it's gotten a lot quicker now. So with the, the pace of the game, those smaller players that can keep up are making an impact. And I think with Yamamoto, he's a guy, and I know Todd McClellan used to use this expression all the time, that plays inside your equipment. He's got to get in tight when he's battling for the puck or when, he, when, he, when he's trying to fend off defenders. He's got to get in tight, and he's got to get in tight and, and close off. And, and you notice when Yamamoto does battle for the puck, he'll go right, right up to a guy and try to get underneath him. And I think that's a really tough guy to, to defend against when a little guy like that gets underneath you or gets below you and you're trying to puck battle with him. And he's got a low center of gravity, so he's tough to knock off his skates. And he's a very, very smart player, and, and he knows his angles very well. And I think that's one thing that he does exceptionally well. And, and he's one of those guys that is just relentless on the puck. And when you have the puck, he's relentless. He'll do whatever he has to do to get it off you, and he'll go around you, he'll go through you, he'll go in between you. And I think that's the one thing that the Oilers were really surprised when he came up here is how relentless he was with the puck and how good a stick he has to get the puck off players. And, and I think you're seeing that smaller players now can be effective players just because the, the, game, the way the game has changed and the game is a lot faster than it was five, ten years ago. Yeah, because, you know, the, the first uh, player I th think uh, that comes to mind when I think about Yamamoto, if you're doing a comparable, we have Johnny Gaudreau down the highway in Calgary. I mean, Johnny Gaudreau is a top-line player for the... For the Flames, he scored almost 100 points last year. Is that a fair comparison? No, I mean, every player is different, but Yamamoto is playing in the top six. It's a fair comparison, but I think there are differences between the two. I think Yamamoto is a bit grittier than, than Johnny Goudreau is. I think Johnny Goudreau is more of a perimeter player. He's a guy that will beat you with his speed on the outside, and he's also a guy that has great hands from in tight. But I think... Yamamoto is not afraid to go to those hard areas. He's not afraid to go to those dirt areas. He's not afraid to go to the front of the net. And you, you look at Yamamoto, he does get a lot of, of 
of rebound goals because you got to go and get to those spots on the rebounds. He does get a lot of tap-ins from the side of the net because you have to be able to willing to stand there and wait for the puck. And I think Johnny Gaudreau is more of a perimeter player. He's got a lot of skill, a lot of speed, and he's a guy that you don't want coming at you. I think Yamamoto is a little different. Yamamoto is a guy that you don't want coming at you, but I don't think you have that same fear when he comes at you than when with Gaudreau comes at you. And I think Yamamoto is going to beat you more with his mind than he is with his physical attributes. Even though he is a good skater, and he has a good pass with the puck. He's just not, I think, as dynamic as, as Goudreau is, where Goudreau can go in and, and beat a guy one on one. And you know, you talk about Yamamoto's grits, and that you know the Oilers played the Boston Bruins at Rogers Place, and he was matched up against Zdeno Chara, the largest player in the league, stands six foot nine. But you know, there was plenty of uh, whether it was in front of the net or by the boards, Chara and Yamamoto were. He was right in there with him. Yeah, that's a, that's a situation where you go where you're a big guy and you have a guy kind of undercut you and get underneath you and get inside your equipment. As Todd McCullough used to say, it's tough to get rid of those guys. It's tough to push them away. It's tough to, to do anything with them. And even a guy like Yamamoto, it's tough to kind of box him out and fend him off because he'll just get around you. And I think that's the thing that I think we're seeing now. So if you're a big guy like that, uh, trying to fend a guy like Yamamoto, it's tough. We are, you're, Char obviously has that long reach that he can use and he's got that, that size, but I think with a big guy like that, he wants to keep you as far away as, as possible, whereas Yamamoto wants to fight inside. I guess it's kind of like I attribute you to a boxer. If you're a smaller boxer and you want to fight inside, you want to get inside on your opponent, the bigger guys want to keep you at arm's length, and I think that's what we saw with Yamamoto and Char when the Bruins were in town.